I'm Adam Hunter. We are watching MMA Roasted. UFC 180 is coming up, and I cannot wait. The event takes place in Mexico City. In fact, they sold out 21,000 tickets in eight hours. That's seven Mexican families. The main event was supposed to be Cain Velasquez versus Fabricio Verdum, but Cain pulled out with a knee injury. Word is Cain injured his knee while moving to Metro. But now the main event is gonna be Verdum versus Mark Hunt, which is gonna be awesome. Mark Hunt has so much power, he has a sex move named after him. When you bang a chick as hard as you can, and then walk away. <laughs> Dana White said that if Hunt pulls out of the cards, the main event is gonna be Verdum versus Joe Soto. Also, Jake Ellenberger is taking on Kelvin Gastelum, who looks like Cain Velasquez in the fourth grade. When asked if he wanted to fight at 180, Kelvin said, sure. That's normally what I'm weighing at anyway. Kelvin has missed weight so many times, he's now the miss a weight champion. Kelvin weighed in heavy for his last fight and had to lose two pounds in two hours. Nick Diaz says it every time he's driving and the cops are following his car. Kelvin Gastelum is proof that you can win the ultimate fighter, be undefeated in the UFC, and still not be able to pull ass on Tinder. Speaking of not getting any ass, Jake Ellenberger announced he prepared for this fight by abstaining from sex for 29 years. Oh, Jake Ellenberger, what's up, man? How's it going? Thanks, you're good, man. I can't wait for my fight. That's cool. Oh, by the way, Adam, your forehead's so big, you could DVR your dreams. Wow, that's... that's, that's <laughs> Oh, good luck in the fight, man. Also, Diego Sanchez was supposed to fight Joe Lozon, but both guys got injured. Even though the fight got canceled, the judges still gave it to Diego Sanchez. And by the way, BJ Penn blames all the injuries on Mike Dolce. Also on the card is Jessica I. Jessica I is beautiful, can fight, and smokes weed. If fighting doesn't work out, she should go on The Bachelorette. I'd marry her. Also on the card is Dennis Bermudez, who's on a seven fight winning streak. In fact, the last time he lost, Tito versus Bonner still didn't make sense. And now for some MMA news. Overing says he beats Rothwell 9 out of 10 times. The 10th time when he passes his drug test. Speaking of drug tests, Kung Lee is no longer suspended for performance-enhancing drugs. After reviewing the fight against Bisbing, the UFC concluded there was no way his performance was enhanced. Breaking news, Yoel Romero just left his stool. GSP said he once saw a UFO. I believe him. I think he saw many of them. As long as UFO stands for unfinished opponents. Bruce Jenner announced that he wants to try out for Invicta next year. When it comes to hunting, Joe Rogan said you should eat what you kill. If that was the case, Demetrius Johnson would be eating pay-per-view ratings, and Kim Winslow would be eating boners. I hope everyone had a great Halloween. I just up as Jose Aldo and punched kids in the face 10 seconds after they rang my bell. I'm kidding. This up is Mayhem Miller, who didn't answer the doorbell, but live tweeted as kids came to the door. Uncle Creepy says nobody gives a shit about the flyweight. I disagree. I am a big fan of Belfort off TRT. And congrats to Ryan Bader and his wife for having a baby. All Bader's humping has finally paid off.